Okay, now I'm going to uh, prep the uh, processor for the, uh, the water block. And uh, if you have a brand new chip, you may not need to do this. I will do this just about any time I install a new processor chip. Make sure the oils and stuff are not on there. Um, this chip's already been cleaned, but I'm going to do it again anyway. This is um, some Arctic Clean Thermal mat uh, Material Remover. And uh, you put a couple of drops on there and you wait uh, 30, 60 seconds. And then you uh, wipe it off and then you use this Thermal Surface Purifier. Also Arctic Clean. It's, you know, it's a couple bucks for the kit. Uh, and then you put this on here to, uh, and then let it dry and wipe it off with the lint-free cloths I use uh, Q-tips and so it is ready and then you don't want to touch that block until you apply the uh, thermal compound. So I'm going to put a couple of drops of this uh, remover on here. A drop. And I'm going to spread it around with uh, Q-tip. It has to wait about 30 to 60 seconds actually. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see it uh, evaporating. And actually there was uh, some, some residue still on there even after I had cleaned it before. So, alright, and then I'm wiping it down now with uh, the other end of the Q-tip. Make sure it's nice and dry. So yeah, I got some stuff off of there. Now I'm going to put the uh, thermal surface purifier on it. And um, I just again, you put it on there and then uh, put a few drops and then you wipe it clean. Alright, so that's the uh, Arctic Clean. Spread it on around here. Let it go for a little bit. And then I'll uh, wipe it off. Prepped it once before, but there's still stuff, seems to be some uh, residue on it, even though it looks really nice and clean. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> now we're ready to apply some uh, thermal compound. I particular I like to use Arctic Silver. Uh, I'm sure anything uh, good is. I've used this for years. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's better stuff out there. I'm sure, but this does the job for me. And. Uh, now people have different techniques for applying a thermal compound on their processor. Some use the finger in the bag method. Uh, others put a couple of dots and let the uh, the uh, the block uh, do it. And it, I think it depends on your uh, cooler. In this case, it's a water cooler. Uh, and uh, when I've used uh, like a Corsair 870 or an Antec 920, uh, those once you mount them on, you got to put like a circular move on those things and uh, to tighten them down. And th and I think if you just put if you put some lines or a blob in the middle, I guess it seems to just work just fine. Um, but applying this here, I'd like to get the total top of the processor with a very thin layer of uh, thermal compound. Um, so I use uh, the credit card method. I actually got uh, this with uh, a kit some time ago. So uh, I put a couple of uh, beads, size of a grain of rice, or actually one pretty decent one and uh, then I take my card and I begin spreading it and you can spread it pretty good and I'll apply some more if I need to but sometimes if I do it right 
I mean, apply the right amount, the first one seems to do it. So you can see that little bit already is almost got taking up the whole processor. And what I like to do is make sure it's one continuous lay layer. I try not to see, I try not, I try to get it, I try to get it so you don't see any of the silver of the processor. You might have a couple of spots where you will. I might need a little bit more. Very fine amount. Okay, <clears throat> so that's got a pretty good thin coat across this whole die, top of the processor die. <laughs> All right.